Welcome back everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1953 Jaguar C-Type now this has 1,270 horsepower 901 pounds-feet of torque from a 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine the car itself now weighs 2,148 pounds has all-wheel drive and it can only not 16 3.365 seconds and 0 to 106.090 seconds. So, yeah, this is one of the oldest cars that we've had on this series, and Jaguar have had a few fast cars on this series so far, but because of its age, I'm not expecting this to be the quickest of them uh, that we've had on this series so far, but it should hardly be a slow coach either, because it does have a lot of power. It's actually quite agile, so it's going to be able to deal with the traffic in any of the corners that come up on this, uh, on this freeway, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously quite aerodynamic because there's not really any bodywork at all here and it's just a really rather curvy metal shell so uh, yeah so let's nonetheless get out there and see what this car can do so we've used this engine in plenty of cars before on this series and uh, yeah it's more than proven it's worth in terms of being able to get high rates of speed so shouldn't be too much different with this one there's 230 but obviously unlike a lot of cars that have use this engine this was not the quickest of cars in a straight line it was a really good race car but it was not all about top speed so uh, yeah gonna really just see what it can do but we're already up to 270 now the Aston Martin Valkyrie got up to 277 in the previous episode uh, as you can see we're only about five mile an hour off that which is fairly impressive for a car of this age as you can see it's all the uh, current gen car and uh, yeah you celebrate its 70th anniversary this year so yeah pretty much an antique going uh, you know hyper car levels of speed and we was looking at the speedometer there and got distracted you don't see that AI car so yeah we're slowly crawling our way back up to uh, the speed we're at after uh, being a bit of a off and we are going to gain speed down this downhill section as we will be aided by gravity, but we're all about the engine, not the gravity as well as, so, uh, yeah, let's see what we're going to get, 274, 275, what are we going to hold after the fact, 272 maybe, nope, 273, yeah, 273, so not quite as quick as the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but given how, uh, you know, the massive age difference, uh, you would expect that gap to be a lot bigger, but to be only four mile an hour is mightily impressive. It just goes to show how little in the way of, the way of weight this car has, and how little in the way of bodywork to get in the way of, uh, you know, the general speed of this car. No idea what this Lotus is doing. Um, but yeah, 273 miles an hour puts us on a par with the likes of the Fast and Furious Chevrolet Impala Supersport, BMW 850 CSI, Lexus LC500, MGX Power SVR, TVR Cerberus Speed 12, the Maserati MC12 Versione Corsa, and the likes of the Mercedes AMG 1 and the Vauxhall Monaro VXR. We are slightly quicker than a Formula Drift Dodge Viper SRT 10, Jaguar XJ220S TWR, so we're by no means the slowest Jaguar that we've had on this series, as well as a pair of Lamborghinis in the form of the Aventador SVJ and the Huracan Performante, but we are slightly behind the likes of a Zenvo TSRS, the Valkyrie that was in the previous episode, as well as a Ferrari F8 Tributo and a uh, Nissan 370Z Nismo, but to be only like one or two mile an hour behind, you know, proper modern cars is uh, highly impressive and yeah, even though the handling isn't quite as great when, once you're up to like 250, 260 miles an hour, this is more than capable with all the handling upgrades I've given it to handle 200, 220 miles an hour, which, considering it's 70 years old, is really, really impressive. So, uh, yeah, this is the final how, how fast will it go for 2023. Um, hope you've had an enjoyable year, and I hope 2024 is equally, if not better, year for you guys. Nonetheless, so, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.